Guys, TNT Customs here, back with another video. Today, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make um custom arms for your custom. So, yeah. So I'm at a like a pretty different angle today. I usually have my base plate, but I just decided to use this because it'd be easier. So, first you're gonna need is if you want to make it like a clone with like armor on the arms, you're gonna need black arms for this. And then you can just set them on like a little rough stand that you made. It doesn't have to be too fancy. You could just like work. You could even so yeah, just some normal. So yeah, you could do this and then so essentially. What you're going to need, you can use metal too if you want. I use, to use these note cards because it's just perfect. It's easy to move. It's easy to use with. And it's already in the right color. And it looks great after you're done. So, First off, what you are going to need to do is you are going to need to cut some pieces off of this. But you might, if you want it to be straight pieces, you could just use a ruler just like this. So I'll show you guys how I do it. So... So I get this, let me get that in view, so I get it just like that. On the edge, I um, cut off the edge because that's not straight, and we want straight. So I cut off that, and yeah, so, and make sure to cut the lines per like almost perfectly straight, but nothing's perfect, so. Eh. Here we go. It's a pretty rough line, but it'll work for this tutorial. So now, we are going, oh god, that's not straight. So, if you mess up, you can just keep redoing that line and keep cutting it until you get it straight. Like me. I am. There we go. So once you have your line just like that, now you can redo that but cut a little bigger of a strip, just about like th that is good. Right there. Just draw your line, just like this, and cut that off. Okay, boom. Now you have your piece just like this. I'm only going to be doing one arm, but yeah. So, here we go. You might want to actually take that off, never mind. So, you have this arm right here. You see that little part right there, where it goes up? You're going to lay this right against that. And on the top, make sure it's straight and it doesn't go like where the arm is going to be rubbing the torso. So, so my big hands are in the way. Um, go like set it just like that. If you guys can see that, so to have it like that, you could use tweezers if you want. But personally, I don't need to use tweezers. So, yes, yeah, so you get this. You put a dab of super glue right on where you want to lay it. Barely any. So, just like that. You get this, and then you just lay it down. Right there. So you don't want to work with me. Uh, okay. Um, well, I mean, first you're going to want to curl it over. Get that little curl in there. That was the wrong side. Ooh, I'm doing everything wrong today. So, just curve it a little, just like that. Like I am curving it over the edge of the arm. And then try that again. Sorry if I'm not talking this. I just tend to be quiet when I am focused. Just like that. So you want to lay it just like that, just parallel with the arm about to rub the torso. Yeah, and then push down a little. Make sure not to push down too much so that it, um, just, and if it's like overlapping where the hand is supposed to be just a little, you could just like cut a bit off, but yeah. So just like that. Now, it is perfectly straight. So now, you're going to keep doing that. Put a little dab of super glue right there. My super glue does not want to come out of the tube. There we go. A little dab of super glue on the underside of the arm. Roll this over. Just like that. And you might need a little more. Just like that, and then roll it over. Perfectly, just like that. So it should look like that. And now, you do the same for the underside. Um, just a 
and you dab a super glue under there, and then you're going to push it over. So I'm just holding it over into position until it dries, and it should look something like that. And now you could just cut off the extra, and if anything's not glued on that you cut off, then just put a little dab of super glue. So just like that, that's what that should look like. I think that looks pretty well. Mine's not fully glued on in that one side. Oh, though. So it's kind of a lot of super glue. Remember, you guys do not need a lot of this stuff to get this glued down. Trust me. Stuff is really powerful. It dries really fast, so. You just hold that down until that dries. And my fingernail is sticking to the piece of paper. I gotta clip my fingernails. And perfect. Just like that. So now, move that. That's what it looks like. So now, for the upper section. So, on the other se upper section, you could use that um, same bit that you just cut off from the edge of the arm. So that piece right there. Um, never throw away your scraps, because you can always use them. So, yeah. Make sure my arm hand doesn't stick to that. So on this one, it's essentially the same method. Method. Um, so, let me just curve this real quick right over that. You gotta get that like that and okay so now I gotta glue that okay so that can just go right there boom it and boom once you have it just oh, my hand just glued to the table um ouch <laughs> So once you have it just like that, you can leave that to dry just for a second. And yeah, so now, once that has dried, we're gonna make sure that's straight first. Glue that down. Gosh, this is not wanting to work for me today. So mine is drying right there. See the little wet spot on the arm? That is the super glue. It takes like two seconds to dry, like literally. It's, it dries super fast, so. See, that's already dried. So, now we can just pull this. Well, actually, you gotta get a little dab of super glue where we are going to lay it next. Right there. And we are going to pull that over. Okay, boom, just like that. So now it is on. Now, and now we have to do the back. So, back. Whoa, that was a lot of super glue. I've done that much. Dang. Say goodbye to my hand. Okay, so we push that down. So, boom. Mine was not the cleanest job, but it did it. So, the arm should look like this right now. Those two pieces. So yeah, now the extra, just cut that off, and boom, there is those sections of the arm. Hey, you guys can't see that, that section of the arm. So now, you are going to, so whichever figure you are going to put this on, I'm just going to use a test subject figure, so right here. Get the figure that you want to put it on. This is not the figure that I'm actually going to put this on, but so give him a little, or her, a little stand. And a little stand just like that. And you can just push on the arm. Just like that. Now that the arm's on, I'm not going to do the other side because that is going to take a while. So, yeah. And now to do the other side, you can get your metal. Just, I use like old sprite cans to use my metal for the shoulder pad. So, if you get that, you can get your hole punch. I have a massive one, so I'm kind of not going to put that on frame. But you guys already know how that is done, so I'm just going to do that real quick. Um, if I can get this in the hole punch, is there a clear piece? Yes. 
Put these right there. Put it right there here. Okay, boom. So once you have it, my um kind of curves it for me, but if you have the one just if you have one that doesn't curve it, then just curve it over a paintbrush and just flatten it a little. So yeah. So now that you have your little shoulder pad on your guy, make sure his arm is straight up and down. Just like that. Make sure not to glue the arm to the figure. That would be bad. Put a little dab of super glue right when you're right where you're about to put the shoulder pad. And you pick up your shoulder pad and just set it on. Just like that. And now that is the arm. And I am not going to be painting in this, um, so yeah. So that is how you detail an arm. And then you can just put your hand back on. So yeah, and then your arms look great. So that's what the arm looks like. If you guys enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. And yeah, I will see you guys later.